Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, the webcam has come out, so no DSLR camera this time. No high production value looking stuff. No script. It's all genuine. It's all authentic. It's what you came here for. Sorry. Um, I wanted to make a different video for this channel than I've been making lately because I want to talk about something that I think is very important. I think that I need to say that I just need to get off my chest. Um, this channel, Chill with Charles, was never really supposed to be a big thing. It was never really supposed to be something that I put too much elbow grease into. This was really supposed to be the channel where I go to to take a break from my other, you know, more production value heavy projects on Grab Mantha and Super Fun Time Divorce Avoiders and Dr. Kolos, which are all, you know, really fun, really uh, funny, energetic projects that take a lot of effort and take a lot of time and, and work. And what I wanted Chill with Charles to be is just, just that, you know, Chill with Charles. It's me. It's I'm Charles. I just wanted to, like, be here and hang out in, you know, the old school old-fashioned way of just being here and hanging out, you know? There you are, here I am, uh, I'm just being myself, right? But uh, things did not go that way. And I think in order to talk about that, I need to be very upfront and clear about something kind of personal, which is that... Hey, get off... The, hey, hey, hey! Which is that... Um, God, I, I, I guess there's really no other way for me to put this other than... I have not been very happy with my own life for a while. I don't want to say exactly how long. I'm a little embarrassed to admit it. But basically, even though things have been really, really good in my life in general for a really long time, my life and my mind and my lifestyle have been very out of balance and disorganized and not healthy for me. And I'm not going to bore you with my autobiography. Um, but I will say that like a lot of the reason for that is just that I've lived a life where I was kind of taught from a very early age to not take good care of myself. And then since then, I've just been trying to discover how to do that for myself. My life has been a lot of raising myself, essentially, being my own father and my own mother and my own boss and my own everything, because uh, I've just been alone for a lot of it and trying to figure things out on my own, which I don't lament. It's, it's you know, it's no child deserves to be alone. But at the end of the day, like, you know, it's not like I can't figure it out. I have dominion over this thing at the very least. So, you know, whether or not I'm treating this well like I consider that my responsibility and it doesn't really matter what happened to me it's 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 all about how I treat it but you know the the embarrassing truth is I just haven't been treating it very well for a long time I still struggle uh, and suffer a lot from my own incompetence when it comes to just handling my own life and so I think what happened was given how seriously um, sad and depressed that I've been lately, I kind of accidentally fell into a hole with this channel where it gave me such a platform to express a lot of the very negative things that I was feeling, whereas none of the other channels that I made and want to work on, none of the other channels that I made really have a place for that. They're about entertainment, they're about comedy, they're about having a good time. And, you know, a poem about my childhood sadness and singing a song, saying goodbye to my old life. These are things that just didn't fit there. But here, you know, not only could I express those things, I could actually put just like a little bit of effort into it. And I think I started to unconsciously turn this channel into like a big project, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's not that, it's not like I wouldn't like to make huge emotional uh, artistic projects with like a lot of meaning and meaningful emotions. It's just that that wasn't what it was supposed to be. 
this channel was supposed to be just this, essentially. It was just supposed to be a place for me, you know, at the end of the day, beginning of the day, whatever time of the day, I just want to take a break, sit down, take the mask off, and be myself. But because I didn't do that, I almost feel like I started to turn myself into a character. It's like I started to turn me talking about my life and my emotions into a product, which I, I don't want it to be that. Even though I recognize there might be, there might be some merit to that, like there might be some value to people for that, that's just not the kind of thing that I want to make. I don't want to commoditize my own experience of life. You know what I mean? The reason that I, I love making comedy and I love making entertainment for people is because I feel like if I'm going to take up anybody's time doing anything, it might as well be something that like enriches their life positively. Because I think, you know, the internet is at a place now where everybody is having all of the the important conversations that need to be had. I don't really feel like I need to throw my hat in the ring. As fun as it might be, as useful as it could be for people, it's just not something I'm motivated to do because I feel like there are far more competent, far more educated, far more organized, far better role models for people to follow on the internet than me. You know, a lot of what I, I talk about in my videos even is not even ideas that I have that I want to present to people. It's more ideas that I discovered by being a dumbass and just cautionary tales of like, don't be like me, like don't do what I did. So obviously, given that, I don't really want to be a role model. I don't want to be anybody's father figure, you know? I mean, if I am, I am. There's nothing I could do about that. But it's not, it's not my focus. It's not what I wanted my focus to be. It has, unfortunately, been the product of what I've been working on. So I wanted to make this video to just say, oopsie daisy, that was not actually my intention. Um, I'm really, really happy that people have been supporting what I've been doing so far on this channel, but I think there's going to be a bit of a change of tone here. Excuse me. I need to be working on the things that I actually care about. And the things that I actually care about are making comedy for people, making entertainment for people, having a good time with my life, not ruminating over every single mistake that I've ever made in my life and then trying to turn that into some useful commodity that people can consume. I don't think that's a good use of my time. I don't think that's a good use of my life. I think I do enough self-reflection and self-analyzing and feeling sorry for my past in my own life. I don't need to be producing that and expressing it and putting it on the internet. What I genuinely need more of in my life is fun and, and a reason to smile every morning and, you know, a place for me to go to just make something completely spontaneous uh, with no premeditated thought about what it's supposed to be to just have fun and create a nice experience for everyone. You know, maybe one day if all of this stuff works out and people actually do have a vested interest in me as a person then I might be more interested in like producing that because, you know, I always like to hear what my favorite artists think about life and, you know, just any details about who they are. So, you know, if I ever get to the point where I feel like I'm somebody's favorite artist, then uh, maybe I'll feel some kind of motivation to make videos like I've been making so far. But right now, I just feel like the, the only reason that I'm doing it is out of this unconscious desire to turn the bad things that have happened in my life into something that people can consume, which on top of being unconscious, which I don't like, is just an attitude about my life and creativity and just a behavior I don't want to do very often. So that's all. I just wanted to make this video to uh, publicly say things got a little serious and I didn't actually mean for that to happen. Um, I'm going to get back to doing what I love to do, which is trying to create as much uh, fun and happiness and smiles in the world as possible. And I'm going to keep uh, 
little dramatic, poetic Charles. I, I'm going to keep him mostly off of my channels for now. And I'm going to return to the original idea of what this channel was supposed to be, which is just this. Very candid, very honest, very... It's not a big deal. Not a production. You know, not something for consumption. Something for connection. A way for me to just, you know, talk as myself with no mask or filter. You know, just sitting here in my living room, just being me. I guess that's all I really want to say, but uh, if you've been missing the other projects that I've been working on, I agree. I apologize that it's been so long since I've worked on any of them. I promise I'm going to get to work on them now. Um, and if you did like the direction that this channel was going on originally, uh, I apologize. It's not that I hate it. It's not that I think it's bad. It's just not what I want to be making. So that's all that's going on with me. Thank you so much for to watching my video. And uh, hey, check this out. I got a tape measure that is custom fit to the size of my penis. <laughs>